Are you sick and tired of using passwords just like me? Are you really want some more something really like passwordless login? Oh, you said there is, and yes, there is. And if you really wondered about how can we, how does the sites like Google, Facebook, Twitter, Ola, and Uber, and many others as well, are able to send you text OTP message to verify your device and whether verify whether it's you taking the action or someone else as well. So in this video, we are going to build exactly same a uh, mini full stack application uh, using the Node, Express, JSON, WebTip tokens, and bunch of crazy other stuff, uh, crazy things that you can see in the description. What we are going, what topics that we are going to cover. So I'm, but before going on further, I really want to show you about my demo about what we are going to build today in this video as well. So I have made an app called Pixcase inspired inspired from Pixels.com. So what I'll do is I'll enter my phone number with ISD code. Let's say I enter my phone number. The number is blurred for privacy reasons. And let's say I'll get my OTP on my phone number as well. So let's try whether I got my OTP or not. Yes. So as you can see, I have got my OTP. I'll just uh, show the screenshot over there. So let's say 306 uh 107 okay and i'll confirm this otp and as you can see i have got in my protected route as well so what it will does is if even if i really uh, refresh this out right there it will still be in my own protected route as well just like any other social networking app which you commonly see out right there so and even if i take this uh, and let's say even if i paste up right here uh, i'll still get into my protected route as well so and if I really want to log out as well, I'll do it log out. So by this really, it's really I want to do it exactly same thing. And yeah, as you can see, it also got logged out on the other side as well. So we are going to build exactly same thing. Now before moving on further directly into VS Code, I would really like to take a brief moment and explain about how we are going to proceed and really approach this problem as well. Now before really going on further, you might really I want to really ask one question about. How would you really build this app? Traditionally, I would really think that I would really need a database to store uh, an OTP to compare a value when the users really send this OTP as well. So what traditionally really happen is user will send a phone number to the server as well, and it will generate an OTP. The, the server one keep the server will keep one copy of OTP within the database as well, and it will send one copy about of this OTP via SMS API to the users as well. And when the users will really uh, again and send this uh, OTP within this uh, on the verify OTP route as well or some of the other route as well, it will compare the value about within that database within the OTP value that store is in the data that store that is stored within the database with the value about what the users have really uh, input out right there. So if both really match. It is the users will really log in out right there, or it, the the server will send the JSON web tokens to for further validation things stuff as well. But is there any other cool way to do this thing? Uh, do we really need a database to really just deal with this thing, or is there any other cool way? So during my quest about to really search all this thing is really like I really came about I really came to this whole article about of Anam Ahmed. Oh, if Anam, you are watching that. Hi. So, what I've really he has gone into the much more depth about how can you make an SMS OTP or SMS OTP verification system without using a database, just by application of cryptography using a library using a node module about crypt, crypto library as well. So he has gone really into the deep as well, and I really urge you to read it for a while. But obviously, we are going to explain it in a much more uh, exhaustive manner as well. And yeah, so taking this article and I have really made this an implementation in, in the following way as well. So as you can see, this is the whole architecture that we are going to do. Uh, there, there is one more uh, route as well called refresh route for refreshing token that I have deliberately not mentioned up right there. But as you can, but as we really progress along the code, we will really eventually see that. But for else, we'll just focus on this purpose. Now for a moment, you would really question about this really looks complicated and what does this send OTP and hash really means. So don't worry, we'll explain in much more sophisticated step by step manner. Now on the right side as well, you can see uh, there is two routes called send OTP and verify OTP routes as well. 
in the server chase file as well now on the left side as well we have our eventually client side that is based on react completely uh, but and the first thing what we'll do is we will send this phone number we will get this encrypted hash and we will send this sms through Twilio sms api now you may ask about why Twilio why not others as well uh, if you really ask my opinion if i have really uh, use if i really wanted to use somewhat on my personal uh, project i would have probably gone with amazon sns because that is dirt cheap but the problem with amazon sns is it's really that it's uh, it requires credit card to sign up uh, the setup is much more complicated than this and twilio is really simple to manage and deal with things as well plus you don't need a credit card uh, it, it it offers 15 dollars of uh, credit something which is much more enough to really just uh, you know try and test it out as well as well and we will come to later words about how can you set up the twilio sms api but coming back to the point about this send otp route as well what really happens within the send otp route now you will really send this uh, you when you send this your phone number to the send otp route as well into the server js file or the server as well it what it will do is it will take the phone number it will generate an otp and it will set the timeout function or it's uh, really into the milliseconds as well or it will send it will set the uh, let's say timestamp expiration uh, let's say about five minute expiry so a uh, new date dot now get time plus five minutes something like that and it what will it do it will generate a value about data uh, by concatting all those things together and simultaneously it will send the otp via uh, S a video sms api and now what we will do is we will hash the function or we'll hash the data within our secret sms uh, key uh, that is used for crypto library uh, and that and we will pass that hash function and attach an expiry timestamp within that and we'll pass it within uh and we'll pass that encrypted hash to the users as well so that the users will store within that it's a within in that react state as well now this really looks complicated to really grasp in further but don't worry we'll just see why are we generating that hash just keep the diagram in mind and we will come back to the point as well so one thing is really like the, when the users will get its encrypted hash it will take all those three parameters about sms otp the phone number and the encrypted hash now what really happens inside the verify uh, otp route is really that it will take this uh, hash in encrypted hash as well it will split the two function within that uh, hash value and the expiration timestamp so first it will check whether it's really valid or not the, uh, so let's say uh, major majority of that uh, otp route has a time based limit as well so if you really cross that time limit you will be really rejected out right there so in order to really just implement that process we are going to we are going to do this thing as well so it will check the time uh, expiry time whether it's whether it's in the current limit or not and the second if it's within if it's really valid then what we'll do is we will generate a data as well and so what what we'll take is like the phone number the otp value of the users and the expires timestamp as well so it will combine all three together and remember what we have to really send the uh, encrypted hash to the users as well so it will compare the both hash together and if really the both of the hash really matches together uh, it will send the jw token as well so as you can see this hash is based on the sha256 algorithm so as you as you really know the hash is kind of irreversible function and you can't really uh, mismatch the bits together otherwise it will completely reject out right there so in this process we are going to build exactly same thing now it really may sound a little bit complicated but don't worry now we are going to build into the live demo as well so i hopefully it will get cleared into the entire process up right there so the first we are going to build the first part of this video is going to deal with the server side as well we are going to build the whole entire structure of the backend and then in the second part of this video we are going to deal with the frontend side as well so here it goes so as you can see we are in the vs code as well i've already made a create react app in my client folder as well because it's a kind of really tedious process to do now uh, and you, as you can see there is you have you might have noticed that there is additional component called uh let's say component folder 
because and there is contain some style modules uh, this will really help later words to really uh, fasten our process as well and there is all image styles as well so i have really started my own this create react app as well as you can see this is running on the board local host 3000 and what we're going to do is we will first need some a bunch of libraries for our server models as well so as you can see i'm going to close i'm going to really just stay this uh, development server of create react app so what i'll do is i will take new server sorry new terminal what i'm going to do we we'll need to install some bunch of packages so what we'll do is we'll install npm npm i uh, course we need to install express we will need to install uh, json web tokens json web uh, tokens we will need to install let's say cookie parser for sending http only cookie and yeah by the way if you want to really know more much more on the http cookie as well click the here on the icon as well so it will really so here as well yeah so it will really be much more beneficial for you to really understand the importance about how why it's much more important uh, yeah coming back to the point as well really it's uh let's see what we need to install cookie parser uh and again we need to install video for sending sms as well so what we'll do is we'll install all these things and yeah one thing that i really forgot is to have uh, we need to install one more that is dot env to store our environment variables so let's say we we'll install this dot env and one thing that I really forgot to tell you that I have already initialized the npm uh, in it as well. So as you can see, this is what my basic setup really looks like. So and one thing that I have to really start this app is really like we will need a file called server.js to really host our server. And we, what we need is one file called .env to store our environment variables. So before going on further what i really need to talk you about is just gonna we will need some video credentials in order to really just send sms to device client as well so what we are going to do we'll come back over here we will open this so i've already opened my video consoles as well i will give you one link in the description you can check that out in this using this referral code what it will do is if you are using for the first time as well uh you will get ten dollars for free and I, even i can get ten dollars for free as well so i'll mention that link down below as well so what essentially it will do is you need to register your account with the twilio as well and you need to kind of generate your uh, number which twilio will assign for your account as well so now there is two main parameters that we all need to care about this account sid this is our token now the account sid is not that kind of really you know much more uh, super secret or you know if if anyone get if anyone really steal that code account SID there is not in much issue but this auth token this is much more important because if this is gone then you will kind of it's kind of really password for your video APIs as well so and one thing really you need to care about is coming back to this point about this uh, verify verify section as well so as this uh, really trial account as well you can't send message to anyone as well so you will need to come over here you will add your number and then you need to send your sms other than as well let's suppose you have really mentioned uh, register your account with uh, mobile number a you will able to send with you will only able to send the otp to mobile number a if you need to send the otp to mobile number b you will need to come over here and you will need to enter this mess uh, phone number let's say any countries wherever you belong and say i'm really in india so that's my only issue and yeah so what i'll really do is uh, i'll add this i'll really confirm whether what is really going to do and then i will really just verify whether it's really mentioning or not otherwise it will really give you an error that this is not really uh, been registered with our device registered with our account as well so this really wraps up our basic intro about the video sms api and by the way if you are if you really want in-depth and thoroughly explanation about this video about what we are going to do uh james q, q quick has made an, another brilliant video on this same topic as well uh, since my account is already been registered 
I can't really show you about how can you really build or register your account with Twilio as well. But I'll mention the link down below about how can you really uh, mention about and really just kind of use and register your account with Twilio as well. So what we're going to do is we will copy this first. Now uh, let's see. Yeah, we will go up right here. We will copy this. So let's say we will come over back right here. We will take this as account. A double C account underscore SID is equal to uh, let's say I'll do this thing. And what I'll do is right now I will come over here. I'll copy this and I will just come back over here. And what was that auth token, right? So I'll name this as a u t h auth let's say underscore tokens equals let's say equals this now it's really been blurred out because for privacy reasons again um, so and I, I will come back to this server.js so what we'll essentially need to do is oh, before coming back to the server we need to do a couple of two things up right there for our space as well so what we need to do is we will need to uh, just mention uh, just because we are using the JWT, we need to mention this JWT the underscore auth token auth token T O K E N. We will generate this later words. We will JWT JWT underscore refresh token refresh sorry R E F R E S H say r e f r e s h refresh underscore token equals now what we need to do is we will need a crypto library to generate all this number so what i'll do is i will come over back here i'll type out node and then what we need go is right here we will require let's say in bracket crypto c r y p here crypto again let's say close this dot random bytes pyds in bracket uh, 64 dot to string in bracket let's say we want hex Okay, what we will do is we will copy an entire string up right there. We'll copy this and again we'll paste it exactly over here. Again, we'll just uh, say we'll cut this semicolons. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll again generate this. Let's say again, yeah. So, okay. We'll copy and paste it exactly over here so yeah and again for sms we'll need our sms secret key why is it really happening over here so we'll need an sms uh, secret key let's say sm sms secret red key equals let's say key equals and again we'll generate and this function we'll copy this say uh, copy over here exactly yeah so let's close this for a while we don't need this coming back to the point about server js now what we need is we need is as const first we need to exert like require uh, let's see what we need to require is to let's say dot env uh, dot env then we need to define as config so what we need is we need to define const and express let's say come over right here require expre express and let's say and, and then what we need to define it as let's say uh, we will need to define as const account 
count uh, SID equals process dot env dot uh, account account underscore SID say we are correct uh, let's say yeah we are absolutely correct say account SID and then what we need is we need is as or uh, let's say auth token for Twilio let's say we need as const auth token equals process uh, dot env dot auth underscore token and then what we need is as we need to define as const uh, let's say say if you are correct yeah auth token yeah let's say const uh, client is equal to require uh, let's say require twilio uh, say twilio dot let's say no 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 dot we require as parameter function about account sid and or we need as auth token and remember this I, i'm really taking taking this from james q quick videos and the official uh, twilio documentation as well so what we need is again we will need our as let's say we need a const jwt auth token jwt uh, underscore auth token a u t h auth token equals uh, process dot env dot let's say jwt dot auth token right and then what we need is const jwt underscore refresh refresh token equals process dot env dot uh, let's say jwt refresh token right and again for last we will need to let's define our uh, super secret key above for sms let's say we need as const sms key equals uh, let's say process dot env dot uh, let's say about sms key right what was that let's come back to here sms secret key we'll copy this exactly we'll come back over here we'll paste it exactly same thing now what we need is we need to define as const app equals express okay uh, then we need to initialize it let's say uh, let's say we need to like app dot listen listen on port 4000 say 4000 as well and now what we need to do is we will use this app dot use in bracket express dot json in order to pass the incoming json value from the client and let's say what we need is again we will need cookie parser but we'll do deal with that later words so first of all what we need is we need to do is app dot post what we need to do is let's say we'll get this route as slash send otp and we will take this as function about res sorry rec comma res equals to this function for let's say i define my const of phone equals a uh, rec dot a uh, body dot foam okay and then what i need to define as let's say i, I will define as const otp 
now here is the interesting part we will use the, this math property uh, cost otp equals math dot floor in bracket 1 million say if the zeros are correct 1 2 3 4 5 and again we need to just kind of really use this to let's say math dot random in bracket say and we will need to multiply this with 9 lakh so that will give us perfectly a uh, six digit number i guess yeah so it's a nine one two three four four and five yeah that's correct so now what we need is again let's say we need as ttl const ttl means to time to live ttl equals let's say two uh two in let's say two into sixty into thousand for milliseconds and again we will need as const expires const expires equals date dot now in bracket let's say plus ttl as well right okay and then now what we need is let's say we need as data remember that data we talked about in the video uh, about the chart we are going to use exactly same thing we are going to use this data as let's say we'll use this value uh, hmm. we'll use this as phone okay and then we need this as dot let's say again we need to use the same thing otp and then dot let's say expires xpi expires and then again we need as const as hash const const as hash equals let's say we need as crypto for that we need to initialize that first crypto over here so what we need is we'll do is script const cry uh, pdo crypto equals require require in bracket crypto now you don't need to install this as it's pre built in within the node module or let's say cr5 pdo crypto yeah. so let's say what we'll do is we'll come over here we what we'll do is we will do a crypto cry crypto dot create h mac we'll create this h mac using and we will pass this parameter about sha256 let's say sha256 and what we'll do is again we will pass the parameter of sms key and then what we need to do is update update in bracket data data and then what we need to define as hex let's say digest di digest in bracket about hex okay and then coming back here let's say const full hash equals we need to concat this uh, hmm. let's say we need to define as uh, let's say hash hash dot uh, let's say again expires right x r x bias okay so now what we need to do is we will create this messages client dot message for to send our otp message we need to create this again we will take this parameter of call create uh, let's say this thing and what we need is like let's say we need to define his body as parameter and let's say your uh, so we need to define it as string uh, your uh, one time login password for 
uh, for CFM is so if you don't know CFM is my personal private post that I'm really working on you can check on my YouTube channel as well for more videos on it uh, so let's say we'll take this parameter about OTP yeah so we'll try to send this uh, let's say to from and again we need to define this from so Twilio has given you another number so come over back right here so what we'll do is we'll copy this number exactly same thing so what we'll do is we'll paste it exactly here so to whom do we want to send so we'll send this number to the phone so what the users will phone what the users will really send his phone number we'll send get back this number up right there and again what we need to do is if it really then in bracket let's say we need to get this parameter of message me double s messages in bracket let's say console log console log log in bracket messages okay and then let's say we if it not worked then what we need to do is we need to catch this error cat catch in bracket e error okay i forgot to just put this parameter let's say error and let's say we need to define as error let's say console dot error in bracket error okay then again what we need to do is we will send this as the rest dot status in bracket 200 so what we need to send is let's say oh, we will send this as oh, phone comma hash let's say hash tends to full hash okay in bracket let's say we forgot to cover this we need to send this in bracket okay now let's turn on the server let's say we define a server node one server and now is the time to put everything about what we have done up to right now to test as well and for that we'll use postman now ideally you can use vs code rest client but for me uh, the postman is quite stable and it's more quite industry standard as well so what we're going to do is we'll go up right here we'll take this postman let's say what we'll do is we'll take this local host as parameter local host 4000 and then what we'll do is let's say uh, send otp otp caps lock we'll perform this as post request take this body raw data to format application.json and then what we'll do is we'll type out our phone as parameter and then what we'll do is we'll take this r and type out my phone number and let's send it up right there okay as you can see we have got our hash uh, with attached here as an expiry timestamp as you can see uh, the screenshot in the right side corner i have also got my own sms as well from twilio as well so uh, as you can see it's really worked pretty much decently now is what we are going to do is uh, we are going to make and design about verify otp route as well so coming back to the point as well coming here in the vs code let me just clear all this file don't save we'll need an otp route as well for a while let's say we'll come over here as you can see this is console is also giving me an a uh, successful message up right there so what I'll, what i will do is for a moment i will just uh comment this because we don't need to send otp for a while and now what we are going to do is we will also come over here and let's say take this parameter as otp okay yeah and now what we need to do is we will take this uh, let's say we need is another route let's send this down okay let's say app dot post in bracket oh let's say we, what we need is as verify verify otp and then what we need is let's say comma and then take this parameter of our uh, rick dot uh, res 
and then what we need is as let's say parameter of what we need as let's const phone equals so first we need to let's say it, uh rec dot body dot phone okay uh let's what we need now is let's say const hash uh equals rec dot body dot hash okay and now what we need is this const otp what the users will provide is rec dot body dot uh let's say otp dot body dot otp let's, say. let's try to huh yeah mm -hmm. now what we need to do is like let let's take this parameter of hash value comma expires okay and then what we need to do is uh let's say equals hash dot split this split function will really split the array and then what you need to do is take this as an this dot now what we need to do is we need to compare the expiry timestamp uh, for that what we'll do is let's say uh let now equals uh date dot now okay and then what we need to do is take if condition let's say if now greater than expires then what we need to do is sorry now greater than now greater than parse int in bracket uh, expires expires then what we'll do is return return in bracket return res dot status let's say 504 that is timeout and what we'll send this as uh, status what we need to send this message send this message as let's say say msg to let's say timeout let's say timeout please try again okay and now what we need to do is let's say if this is valid what we need to do is now let's say we need to compare this so let data so what i need to do is go exactly over here because the code is quite similar we'll copy exact same thing and paste it over here let's take this up right there and now what we need to do is uh say the best practice is using const const new calculated hash equals cry crypto bracket so crypto dot create create h create hmac in bracket let's say sha256 taking the parameter of secret key as sms key and then what we need to do is we need to update as data say data then we need to digest this to uh, let's say digest in format of hex value so now what we need to do is let's say if and as condition again say if new calculated hash triple equals a uh, hash value let's say what we need to do is return return res dot send res dot status uh, in bracket 
202 and then what we need to do is let's say send in bracket parentheses like let's say my, uh, message to let's say what we need to do is user confirm confirm yeah or an else or e l s e else what we need to do is uh, res let's say return res uh, dot status res dot status say 400 let's say let me need to send it as send this let's say to uh, say very verification to false and now what we need is as message message to incorrect incorrect otp later on you will see how we'll handle this in the state or react state as well so for now let's try and test it out in the postman as well so what we need to do is come over here let's say what we need to do is localhost again localhost colon 4000 so first we need to send this let's say send uh, otp i'll come over here or let's say post body we need is a raw it has json let's say what we'll do is take the phone number uh, phone as let's say what i'll do is randomly nine eight seven six five four three two one okay i'll send this up right there so as you can see i have got my hash hash value as well uh, according to this expiry attached with expiry timestamp that is really valid up to just two minutes and right now what we'll do is we'll take this otp copy everything over here we will make exactly same thing let's say we'll post a raw json format we'll paste it exactly over here now what we need to do is uh i think yeah we need to copy this we need to paste it what is going on so we will copy exactly same thing yeah now what we need to do is let's say send otp instead of send otp this is verify otp now let's try to see this so as you can see we have got this user confirm message as well now let's try to just kind of really tamper with this hash value let's say three okay as you can see this is giving me an incorrect otp as well the otp is not incorrect but it's a hash that we are tampering but let's say if we do this timestamp really just to expire then what will really happen so as you can see this is giving me a timeout please try it i have waited for two minutes that's why i've really skipped this two minute process as well so what we are going to do is come back over here now what we need to do is we will need to make a cookie as well so let's say we need to uh for first we what we need to do is yeah we come over here we'll define as const cookie const cookie a parser parser equals require require in bracket let's say cookie cookie parser and now we need to initialize this within that app dot use in bracket let's say cookie parser now what we need to do is come over here again we need to define the json web tokens let's say const uh, jwt equals uh, require in bracket uh, let's say uh, require in bracket let's say uh, json web tokens right come over here if this is successful now what we need to do is let's say user confirm 
and along with this user confirm what we will need is we will need to define as const access token access token equals jwt dot sign jwt dot sign bracket what we need to define as data as phone okay and then what we need to do is we need to pa pass a parameter of secret key as jwt auth token and then what we need to do is let's say expires in 30 seconds mm, let's say ex expires in let's say 30 seconds 30 s now we will just copy exact same thing over here now what we need to do is come over here let's say access let's say refresh now uh, let's say re esh refresh token jwt refresh token right coming back to the point over here as well what we need to do is res dot status let's say res dot status bracket 202 coming back to the point about not destroy what we need to send is cookie cookie in bracket let's say access token we need to define as access a double c e double s access token and the value as access token right and we will also define other options as well for security purpose let's see what we need to do is expires in expires let's say a uh, new uh, new date in bracket new date dot get get time and now what we need to do is let's say plus uh, 30 seconds that is 30 into 1000 milliseconds and yeah so what we need to do is again uh, let's say what the parameter is what we need to do is same site to strict by the way if you have not watched my HTTP cookie video I'll suggest you to please watch that up right there and again what we need to do is let's say same site to strict and again what we need to do is let's say HTTP only to true okay and now what we need to do is we'll copy exactly same thing okay and then what we need to do is come over here again dot we will uh, paste it exactly over here so after doing all this thing one thing that is really done we're doing we need to erase this since this is our since this is of our no any use now what we need to send is in last message about let's send this as again we will send this as oh uh, let's say send in bracket let's say m m msg msg to let's say user confirmed sorry or device confirm device or uh, device verified so what we need to do is again we need to uh, erase this let's say R E F R E S H token and then what we need to do is again refresh token and we need to increase this timestamp expiry since we will keep this as uh, one year so for now what we need to do is three five five seven six now coming back to the postman let's try to test it up right there so if we'll come over here let's try to send this we will copy exactly same thing 
we will come back over here and we will paste it exactly same thing now okay we got two cookies over here as you can see this is access cookie path http only to do that is more secure oh uh, yeah and what we need to do is let's say refresh token local host and this is the path and this is the true and this is false as well let's say secure to false no what we need to do is let's say secure to false yeah as we are on the local host we can't enable that option as well so what we need to do is again we'll come back over here we will copy exactly same thing because now you will know later words why we are doing this but in a brief shell uh, we are doing this just because uh, the cookie can't be accessible so as the cookie can't be accessible by javascript the front end should really know about uh, there is cookie up right there so we will create a dummy cookie uh, which has the same corresponding value or true or false as well let's say we define access token uh, and this value about true or false whether it's true or false it's present or not uh, we will define as dummy token as well so what we will do we will take this as auth session instead of uh, really like taking as we will take this as value of auth session a u t h auth session and let's say we'll name this as true or false okay uh, true or we will not we will not take this as straight or anything as well and now what we need is let's say yeah we need we left this and what we need is now again uh, we'll come back over here okay and let's say okay and we'll paste it exactly over here and again what we need to do is let's say refresh token id or uh, let's say refresh token id to true t r u e comma we don't need any of this let's say http flag or none of this since we need to access this by javascript now you will later words understand why we are doing this but again coming down to here as well async is async function uh, let's say to authenticate authenticate user uh, in bracket let's say rec dot user rec dot res and then what we need to pass as next as middle parameter middleware then what we need to do is let's say const equals uh, let's say access token uh, access token as a uh, rec dot cookies rec dot cookies dot access token right uh, and now what we need to do is let's say jwt dot verify it will, it will verify this access token now what we need to do is let's say pass this as jwt auth function let's say what we need to do is uh, async as async async uh, error comma phone sync phone as well and now what we need to do is let's say this and taking this parameter what we will do is if fin bracket phone let's say what we'll do is rec dot phone equals phone okay uh, and then what we will do is let's say if it will really just uh, push it next to yours as well and uh, let's say yeah so if it's not then what we'll do is else if else if what is well, let's say uh, sorry else if uh, error dot message triple equals token expire t o k e and token a x p i r e d token expired error then what we need to do is we will send this return return in bracket res 
dot status 403 I think that is forbidden so let's say send in bracket let's say what we need to send is uh, success success to false comma message to let's say what we need to do is access access token expired okay so for now this can't be tested in postman this is only this can be only tested within the uh, let's see what we need to do in the front end as well so what we need to do is again last we need to test it as else else in bracket what we need to do is again let's say console dot uh, log console dot error in bracket error okay and then what we need to do is again res dot status the rest of status in bracket 403 let's see what we need to do is again let's say send say error e double r error comma message message to let's say what we need to do is user not authenticated a u authentic Ticketed. Uh, yeah, and that's what we are. And now we are need to create a refresh route for refreshing the token as well. So coming uh, over here, what we need is as app dot post in bracket. Let's say what we need to do is refresh uh, hash. So let's say slash refresh comma. Uh, let's say in bracket. Uh, res sorry rec dot res and then again taking this parameter and coming back over here let's see what we need to do is const let's say refresh uh, token refresh token equals rec dot cookies dot refresh token and then what we need to do is then now what we need is let's say we need to verify if now again for now let's say for this uh, refresh token as well we if we need to block some of them let's say if some uh, tokens are malicious and if we need to block them you need to come over here and let's say if, if they it is connected with some of the redis cache you can connect it over by them as well uh, by the way uh, Kyle Cook has made a brilliant video of explaining what all this JWT jargon really means. If you don't really understand, I really suggest you to watch that. But if you are really comfortable with this JWT aspect, this is really much more understandable as well. So what we need to do is we'll come over here. We need to do is let refresh a token. Let's say is equals to a blank. Okay. And coming over here we need to just pass this over there we forgot to add a parenthesis i do this mistake i don't understand but yeah this is what we are going to do and use uh, let's say again if you need to uh, block the entry of malicious uh, or refresh token in the verify JS route we'll come over here what we need to do is let's say we will come over here and what we need to do is refresh token so here yeah, that is here let's say refresh tokens in bracket dot push in bracket refresh token okay yeah this should be sufficient now coming back to the point above here what we need is upright there to refresh our jwt token is we need as if in bracket let's say if it is not present if refresh token is not there then what we need to do is return return rest 
dot status in bracket 403 and then what we need to do is we need to send this message and then what we need to do is let's say message let's say ms msg2 let's say what we need to do is say refresh or ref refresh token not found please please log in again or somewhat like that according to what you are working on and let's say if uh, if if this token is blocked in the redis cache as well so what we'll need to do is if uh, let's say if not say re refresh tokens uh, dot include if includes let's say refresh token let's say refresh tokens include refresh token then what we will do is we will return or uh, et return res dot status in bracket 403 and then what we need to do is let's say um, so we will send this message of say we will send this message of uh, msg to uh, let's say uh, refresh token blocked since we have not attached the redis we will we will not be of much more beneficial as well but it's kind of really helpful to know about it so what we need to do is we will log in again okay that's what we will message and right now what we need to do is let's say we need to verify jwt dot verify in bracket let's say uh, refresh token we will take this parameter of jwt dot refresh to jwt refresh tokens and then we will take this as parameter of error error comma phone and then what we need to take this as arrow function and then come over here and then what we need to do is if not error if everything went well if if uh, not error then what we need to do is let's say we will come over here exactly same thing we will take this exact same thing come back over here copy exact same thing and then what we need to do is we will again come over here we will do exact same thing copy and then come over here paste it exact same thing and then what we need to do is let's say we need to send some data otherwise it won't work so let's say send in bracket let's say previous uh, previous session expiry to true and then what we need to do is again success to true success to true okay i think uh, let's see what that really makes us or else we need to define as else condition and then what we need to do is return what we need to return is let's say res dot status Resource status in bracket 403 it is forbidden. Let's say what we need to do is send in bracket. This is our success to false. Say if, say if false. And then what we need to do is let's say message to uh, what we need to do is invalid invalid refresh 
tokens as well so that's it what we need to do is ultimately we will need a uh, login to login route for to log out as well so what we need to do is we'll get this app dot post say app dot uh get will also work fine let's say app dot get in bracket log out in bracket let's say rec uh in bracket let's say req rec comma res and then what we need to do is come over here come back over here then what we need to do is res dot clear cookie in bracket we need to exactly define the same as well so refresh token as well right T O K N. again what we need to do is clear cookie in bracket what we need to do is access token come over here again we need to do is clear cookie in bracket what we need to do is uh, auth session a u t h auth session session and then what we need to do is let's say clear cookie finally refresh token id refresh uh, refresh uh, refresh token id let's say if that is the case refresh token id uh, yeah it's correct so refresh token id and then what we need to send is finally send let's say log out okay what you need to do is uh, user uh, logged out okay you need to format this correctly so that it looks beautiful now it comes to the point of about making in the front end as well so now before going on further let's try to check if everything works well or not let's come back to the postman let's try to just send it again look let's see it's giving a perfect via error okay since we have not refreshed that let's try to just refresh it again uh, let's say try to do this copy control v exactly same thing as well right so let's say come over here let's try to send this copy this paste it exactly over here and send this okay as you can see this is 202 accepted device verified let's say we got this three cookies uh, auth session let's say refresh token refresh id and auth session as well so why we haven't got this refresh token as well we need to check that out okay this is the exact problem what we need to do is we'll cut over here and then again let's try it again okay let's try to send this okay now we have got our correct four tokens as well sometimes mistakes just happen and it's kind of important to check uh, what we whether we are doing correct or not so now let's go into the react side as well so now we have really started our own react project up right there if you come over here i've already started this react server so now what we are going to do we'll come over here we'll go over here component folder as well let's see what we can do we will go over here let's close the server we have now we have finished all this thing we will need this later words as well so for now in the react as well we need one another library called axis let's say cd client npm install axis axios axis now remember that component folder that we talked in the beginning of this video well if you come over here now open this chrome i've already made some of the designs over here so as you can see this is the first about the phone input the second one is of uh, otb and the third one is our protected route as well and and if you come over here let's say i have all this here as you can see this is exactly the code over here if you come over here let's say uh, otp let's say phone input and this is home input 
Now, if you have really just if you have this question question in your mind that hey, where is this code? Uh, why, why can't we see this process? So, so during the making of this video, I have just cut down into the editing of this part process. So, uh, the goal of this video is kind of to really make you focus on the logic as well, not on the design perspective as well. So uh, that is the reason I, exactly that I have really coded up to right now here, uh, so that you can focus on the logic as well about how we are going to build this application. Uh, because you know additionally it will the designing will take more, 10 to 20 minutes more as well so it's better for me to cut down and focus on the logic part as well so as you can see before going on further if, if we come to the server.js one thing that i really uh, remember that we have done one mistake over here the word that mistake is actually the refresh token expiry should be about one year that is one y and over coming down here what we need is additional package is course to really just facilitate and function the request management so that uh, we don't get error in the console as well browser console as well so if you come over here and type out const uh, course equals require in bracket course if you then if you just come over here down then what we need to do is <clears throat> app dot use in bracket let's say what we need to do is course in bracket what we need to take some parameters as uh, origin just because we are using uh, http only cookie uh, again i would suggest to watch that video or uh, http to let's say and the http cookie only works with same site that's why we need to configure accordingly so let's say local uh, local host say 3000 and then what we need to do is again uh, credential to true okay and then we'll come on coming back to the home as well so since we are going to make uh, let's say if you come over here let's see if i scroll up right here this uh, if we click up right here this component should come over here so we are kind of really implementing the step design as well step form design uh, I have really taken that uh, code as well from or uh, learned from uh, Brad Traversy Media. Uh, he has a brilliant tutorial over it. You can check that up right there. So we are going to implement exactly in a similar way. So if you come over here, let's say if I come over here, let's just uh, close this uh, server.js for a while. And if I come over here, let's say I comment everything. Okay. Let's see, we don't want anything over here. And then what we need is we coming back over here. And then what we need is let's say we need let's say h1. Okay. So here let's see. Yeah, this is gonna this is really work well. Uh let's come over here again. So now what we need to do is we will make some step form so that for we need this is this is step form. Let's come over here. No, uh let's say we need to convert this as react for really styling or easy purpose so what we need is right now to use uh, stay use state let's say what we need to do is let's say use state uh yeah use state and what we need to do is import all these two component import let's say phone input phone input from let's say dot slash oh uh, let's say your phone uh, this is what we want and again coming back to the point let's say what we need to do is import again uh, let's say otp otp verify verify from say otp verify and then what we need to do is coming back over here we will use some use states so for example let's say const in bracket state comma set set uh, state set state uh, equals use state in bracket let's see we need to define three parameters now remember for that early diagram we will read some three parameters that is the phone let's say uh, phone equals blank for a while we will use this hash let's say we'll use this one and then again what we'll need is otp at last 
these are the three parameters we will need to send so that's why we are implementing this state okay and now what we will need is let's say step again what we will need a step again const in bracket step uh, let's say step comma set uh, <coughs> set step for really the switching because we are using the stepper form that's why so you state in bracket let's say we will take this as parameter of one that will be our default default stage as well so now what we need to do is we will define some handle change let's say hand let's say handle change equals input we'll take this parameter of input uh, and put input and then what we'll do is let's say what we'll take this as parameter of event say e and then what we'll take this as something over we'll come over here and then what we will take this as set state in bracket we will spread this using the spread operator uh, state equal state comma we'll take this as input uh, and then what we will do is we will take this as e dot target say this is target dot value and then again what will come down over here what we will need is let's say const uh, for hash handle change uh, because this this uh, above handle change won't work with uh, traditionally way so what we'll need is we'll need to update this one as well so what we'll take is hash handle change uh, equals hash take this as parameter of hash and then what we do you do is let's say coming back over here set state in bracket again we will do the same uh, state in bracket let's say hash uh, tends to hash as well oh you heard it. this should be triple dot okay and then again what we will need is let's say uh, let's me just syntactically do it better okay now what we need is now let's say we need a step const next step equals uh, let's say here this one okay yeah so this one and what we'll do is set step set step in bracket we will use the brief step property property and let's say what we'll do is we tend to use brief step plus one let me just do it better okay and now what we need is we need is as a uh, brief step right so we'll copy exactly same thing over here coming back to coming here downwards let's say what we need is as a uh, brief step brief step and yeah what we need is as let's take this as minus one okay minus one so now what we need is again coming back to here just we just because we are making step form so that's why let's say const in bracket let's say uh, curly braces let's say phone uh, let's say hash let's say otp equals state and then what we'll do is again const const value equals let's say uh, curly braces again phone comma hash comma otp okay so now here it comes to the point about using the step function again so what we will do is we will close exactly over here we don't need this return so what we'll do is we'll use switch operator okay so we'll take this switch as step parameter let's say if we come over here case one equals case one equals then what we'll return is let's say this is a phone input and let's say close this one and again what we do is let's say if this is step three this is case if this is case two case this is two uh, then what we will do is 
return what we'll do is again otp verify and this is what we'll do let's just syntactically do it better okay so now we will need to pass some parameters over here oh by the way we need to again default define some default cases as well that is let's say default what we'll do is again we will return the same as for input but first we need to just pass this parameter as let's say next step equals next step okay then what we do is let's say uh, hash handle change hash handle change equals hash handle change okay and then what we need to do is handle change equals uh, handle change and then what we finally we need to pass this value uh, as value okay we'll copy this exactly over here and let's do it over here okay paste it exactly over here so what we need is as finally we will we will what we need is bracket let's say what we do is next step comma handle change handle change equals handle change and then what we need is again value equals value as well okay coming back to the point here let's come over there as well in the about let's say in the four input route as well so what we need is let's say we will need to take here as step next step parameter as well so what we need to do is again here coming back let's say we'll use this props function sorry zero zero not and then coming over here what we need to do is let's say const in bracket value oh uh, what we need to do is say was that value oh uh, say step form okay value value yeah value okay coming uh, let's say for input we close this for a while value comma handle change uh, handle change handle change comma a uh, hash handle change equals props okay then what we need to do is again we if we come over to the here button as well we need to define then on click the next next step as well so let's say on click we will use this as continue okay uh, let's see yeah so let's take this as capital continue if we come over here back to the point say we define as const continue equals let's take this as parameter of e event and let's take this as function about uh let's say what we need to do is again e dot prevent prevent default and then what we need to do is again let's say uh props pro props dot next step okay so to test this out whether it works or not let me just come over here let me just import this let's say uh import let's say step form uh step uh, form from let's say what we need to do is component or uh, let's say what we need to do is again step form so if we come over here error if we i think i have done i haven't, I haven't done it yet okay the mistake that i have done is here instead of i haven't returned it properly okay so we're coming back over here again what we need to do is we'll cut this up right here let's say what we need to do is uh, step four so again yeah we will do this later words let's try to test whether it works or not if we do this yeah as you can see it just moves ahead ahead let's refresh this let's enter your phone number what we need is coming back i think i have done and uh, not done this properly so let's try to fix this over here so let's say what we if we do is otp verify and then what you do is enter your otp right enter your otp say what we need is again your again otp that would work fine let's say oh uh, let's zoom this for a while okay so let's come over here again what we need is to do the phone input 
so let's say in the otp verify right now what we need to do is again let's take this or uh, copy this exactly same thing there's not much any difference copy this exactly let's say props 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 then what we need to do is let's say coming back over here say we need to define this const continue okay and then here what we need to do is coming back we need to paste it over here exactly coming back again copy this and exactly here so now let's try to uh let come over here let's say on click right send otp continue and then what we need to do is on continue on click on click to let's say back b a c k now coming over here we'll copy exactly same same since it's not any much difference over here instead this continue we will uh, name this as back b a b a c k back let's say we we'll define it as brief steps don't worry we will do this step management later okay let's try to test it over here let's do this okay if we do this what's really happening prop store brief set is not a function if we come over here then Brief step left. Let's see what will happen. Oh, I think I forgot. I have to just uh, in this one, I forgot to mention this out up right there. Sometimes my memory get weak. So let's say brief step as well. Okay, now let's try to test it up right here. Coming back. Okay, it works exactly fine. Now, come here comes the point about state management as well what we need to do is come over here and then let's say i'll enter my value let's say value equals uh value dot phone right let's say p h o n e phone and then again let's say on change uh on change to what i'll do is handle change or uh, in bracket let's say i'll take this parameter of phone because that's what we have defined it earlier as well okay so let's try to check this whether it works if i enter any value seven eight nine let's try to uh let's come over back over here oh it's like we have done again some mistakes instead of send otp i think it should be next so let's try to do this again yeah it remains stays that's that means it is working absolutely fine okay let now come on, coming back to the point over here let's try to do this as otp verify similarly we'll copy exactly same there is not any much difference okay uh, copy come over here let's say Control d and then what we need to do is otp right so now here comes the point of using axis if you come over here again what we need to do is initialize axis import let's say import axis say xios axis from axi axis as well again what we need to do is in order to make some request over here what we need to do is come over here let's say uh, axis dot post since we need to send this data to the server let's take this parameter of let's say http http uh, local host ideally you should do this to install this uh, url part to environment variable as well but since this project is quite small uh, it's okay to do this let's say what we need to do is send otp right and then what we need to do is we will take this parameter of some what we need to send is let's say phone equals uh what we need to send is we'll use this backticks and again uh we use dollar sign and let's say as this one let's say value dot phone okay and what we need to do is again if what if really happens is what we need to do let's say then in bracket what we need to do is again 
we will take this parameter of res let's say res take this as arrow function and then coming back over here let's say console dot log bracket res and then let's try to send this first okay what really happens i really want to know so if i really zoom up right here i will open my inspector app okay let's try to see this so okay let's try to see any number okay so as you can see we have got our data that means everything went well let's say we have got our hash we have got our otp now to be cautious this otp is just for we have we are bypassing this otp only for temporary purpose as well uh, on the production side of the zil you should be cautious about such things as well and this is my phone number so let's say that means it's still working really well now what we need to do is we'll come over here let's say what we need to do is uh let's say what we need to let's say const hash equals res dot data d a t a data dot hash okay uh just because of when we get the hash from the server and what we need to do is really pass on to the hash handle change in bracket what we need to pass it as hash okay so if you come over here again let's say if i come over here again if i just refresh this for a while if i again enter the same number let's uh, do this next and let's say if i component folder as well let's say step form as you can see it has automatically set to this set form as well so as you can see this is phone is really set in that really well and uh, this is already here that means it's work it is working absolutely fine up to right now now moving on further we will need to do some changes over here or uh, let's say in the otp verify so what we need is right now come over here and then what we need to do is in order to continue you know what let's try to just uh, rename this as confirm otp that would really look much better ci and confirm uh, otp let's let's say otp as well so that will look much more confined now what we need to do is come over here let's try to really just look that confirm otp yeah okay and then what we do what we need to do is right here coming back to the point again we need to import axis let's say oh, we need to import axis from a ax axis as well and then what we need to do is axis dot post post in bracket let's say what we need to do is we will uh, send this on exact same route coming back over here let's copy everything over here so now let's up to here okay control c say control v and then what we need to do is verify o d p as well so now what we need to do is take this parameter of something now what we need to send is let's say phone or placeholder uh, phone tends to let's say again uh, this curly brace backticks let's say values value dot phone okay let's say again what we need to do is a uh, hash let's say again what we need to do is backticks uh, dollar sign curly braces value dot hash okay sjsh hash and then again what we need to do is otp okay let's see if i have done it well or not okay i need to forgot here okay and then what we need to do is otp as let's say uh in dollar sign curly braces value dot otp as well so now what we need to do is again if you come back over here we need to do is then in bracket let's take this parameter of res let's say oh uh, yeah k 
key what we need to do is okay if you come over here we need to define as console select like constructor not console dot log bracket rest dot data da rest dot data as well and then what we need to do is we if if there is an error we will catch it okay catch in bracket or uh, error e double r o r error as well then what we do is uh console console error console dot error in bracket let's say uh, error error dot response response dot data as well okay so what we do what we do is let's try to check if it works or not if we come back over here so for this moment we'll again for a to make our life a bit more easy what i'll do is instead of going right here we will do is console lock rest and say what i'll do is let's say console dot log in bracket rest dot data dot otp that would make our life much more easy if you come over here let's try to refresh this for a while let's enter my otp okay let's say this is my otp if i enter this and let's enter this up right here okay so as you can see i have got this message device been verified but what if really happens if i really entered any wrong otp number so well let's try to check this what if really happens again same number hypothetically let's enter this but now instead we will enter this wrong otp let's say obviously that's not a right otp let's try to send this okay as you can see we have got our error error, error. if we now if you really want to denote this error onto this area as well you can but for this project we will not do this but this uh, error validation is also included in the github repo as well you can check that out so but what now we'll do is now if we need to just kind of go into that protected route as well so right now if we come over here in application despite having you know successful login if you come over here we haven't got our cookies over here and as you and as you were expecting uh, we have set over here so coming back to the point of uh, let's say if we come over here so if you have really remembered what we have done previously so if we are login route was successful we should get cookies but if you come over here again that's not the case and you might wonder why so just because we are dealing with http cookies we need to do one step further so let me close this for a while it's not any useful it's any additional so what we need to do is we will come over here we need to define as access dot uh, with credentials access dot default dot with credentials equals to true we need to define this as true as well so if we come over here again let's try to do this let's refresh this for a while let's try to do this let's see i have not done er any error validation but yeah, ideally you should do it on your own let's say if i enter my phone number let's say send otp and then if you come over here as you can see this is our cookies over here and this as you can see this is our http flag that means it is secure it can't be used or it can't be accessed by javascript as well oh and this is the same site strict so this is and this is our dummy token as well both of them are pretty much there now the end quest is about how do we get into the our protected route as well so for that we will come over here we will make an another app of let's say uh, auth.js we will make this as function about authenticate whether it's whether this function is authenticated or not for that what we will need to do is we will come over here we will install one another library called cookie parser let's say in npm i let's no, not cookie parser that is uh, universal cookies okay so now what we need to do is come over here we need to import axis let's say import axios axis from axis uh, let's say axis as well and then what we need to do is import import cookies 
cookies from let's say universal cookie and then what we need to do is again let's say const uh, cookie cookies equals uh, new let's say cookies and take this as function okay and then what we need to do is again uh, we will take this as axis dot uh, default dot uh, with credentials equals to true right again we will take this as class component call auth say class auth and then what we'll do is we'll take this as constructor to store the value constructor to store the value of this dot authenticated a u t h e n authenticated so by default we will keep this as false okay so and we will test this function as well so what we'll do is is uh, authenticated is a u t n authenticated in bracket let's say uh, what we need to do is again let's say what we need to do is const uh, access token equals cookie cookies not get we need to get the dummy cookie that is representing that auth uh, session a u t h the value is auth session okay and then what we need to do is again uh, let's say const a refresh token equals cookies dot get in bracket refresh refresh token id so we need to do this part let's say and then what you have so coming back over here now we will need to place some if and else scheme as well so what we need to do is if we come over here let's type out some if and else condition if let's say this if not access token a if not access let's say we need to do this if not access if access token and and let's say refresh token are not there then what we will do is we will return this state status as this or authenticated as false as well so uh, let's say we'll copy this what we need to do is return this dot authenticated as false okay let's try to just make this stipend okay let's something was wrong okay this uh, this dot authenticated uh, equals false as well right let's try to do this hmm. now what we need to do is but if again if access token and and let's say refresh token both are present then return return bracket this dot authenticated uh, equals to true okay and then what we need to do is again if it is not there if access token is there let's say so if access token got expired let's say if access token got expired if access token is not there but we have our refresh token let's say refresh token then what we need to do is let's say axis axios axis dot post what we need to do is uh, http let's say localhost 4000 and this time we need to hit the refresh route as well okay and then what we need to do is again take this uh, over here then what we need to do is with credential to let's say true as well we'll define it as true over here and then what we need to do is let's say then in bracket let's say rest what we need to do is console log console dot log uh, res dot data okay and if an error happened let's say catch c a t c h catch error happened then let's say what we need to do is console dot log in bracket error dot response Res 
pawns okay so now let's come over to this uh, app dot uh, js and what we need to do is import some of the additional steps in order to really process our product so what we'll do is let's say we need to import oh did we export this flaw dot js function no i think so that's why uh, first we need to import this so let's say sorry export this export default new uh, in bracket auth let's see yeah coming back over here what we need to do is import auth from uh, dash let's say uh, auth as well so now finally we need to import one component as well that is uh, import let's say home from the component dot home as well so now this is this is pretty no brainer what we'll do is let's say now it's pretty no brainer what we'll do is we will cut over here and then what we'll do is let's see if in bracket let's say auth oh what we do is say come over here auth is authenticated then what we need to do is uh return let's say return return in bracket uh home so because this is a protected out there are many ways to implement this protected out as well uh let's say using props or component by way but r is pretty much really simple that's why we are using this method so else else return what you need to do is step form uh, let's say step uh, step form as well right okay let's try and test this out whether it works or not you say we need to do is capital auth okay and then finally coming back over here let's try to refresh this let's enter our phone number okay then what we need to do is again uh, copy this paste it exactly over here and device verified let's try to do this now we have got this let's try to do this now as you can see we have got in our uh, protected out as well but if you can see you know if i really delete this and this uh, access token as well let's say if i delete this and if i delete this as well so what really happens is it really lands out of the way it doesn't really uh, gets inside up right up right there so what we need to do is we will come over here we will go into the app.js like auth.js as well and then what we need to do is we will do this window dot location now this is a really poor way of uh, you know doing automatic uh, token refreshment by the way there are many bunch of other ways that you should really focus on but for this tutorial this works really uh, you know fickly good as well i would not say it's decent but it really works well so what we need to do is for our purpose this really works well so if you come over here again if you notice if you come over here let me just uh, you know delete all this token for a while let's say refresh this delete this token now get me all this thing if we enter let's say you know let's try this next come over here let's try to do this you know and let's try to paste it let's try to done over here it doesn't really take me to the uh, protected out as well so what we'll do is we will do this basic hack as well uh, this is not a really good way of doing things i would recommend to suggest any other things as well but if really if this works then it's good let's say window uh, window dot location let's say length not location dot reload as well that's that's what i really suggest up right there so coming back over here let's try to do exactly same thing okay delete this again delete this uh come back to the console let's try to do this let's, let's refresh this again uh, okay let's do this let's enter this send data okay as you can see it has already taken me up right there now last but not the least we have need to implement this logout function for that we will come over here to our uh, form let's say sorry home or uh, this one 
and what we need to do is again we need to uh, take this as on click let's say on click C L I C K on click to log out L O G O U T log out so now what we need to do is let's say const or uh, log out uh, equals let's say take this as function and then what we need to do is take this arrow function come over here what we need to do is we need to import axis again import axis from axis as well and then what we need to do is we will need to send some let's say get request axis dot get in bracket let's say that same route let's say http colon colon local host local host port 4000 let's say what was that route that route was log out and what we need to do is again uh, let's say if we need to send this, this get data by the way you can do it post get doesn't really matter when it's come to the log out uh, let's say then what we need to do is uh, let's say take this parameter of res and again let's take this as console uh, dot log in bracket let's say press dot data and then if error really if any error occur, occurred then what we'll do is we'll catch this error yeah. error as well and then what we need to do is take this what we need to do is let's say console dot log say console dot error that will really highlight it syntactically say e double r error uh, dot response and then what we need to do is again coming back away let's beautify this oh i think i realized one mistake what we need to do is we'll take this up right here and let's do this okay and if everything really went well then what we need to do is come over here and window dot location dot reload then what we need to do is reload as well so now if you come over here so let's try to enter our phone number let's enter this for a while let's try to send this otp now as you can see we are in the protected route as well or uh, if i try to let's take this up right there we are again gone back as well now if you come over here again as you have seen the demo in the first phase of the part it really works exactly really well as well Whew, this was a really big tutorial i know if any if you have watched completely up to right here i would personally love to thank you for you know watching this up to right here as well it really means a really lot to me as well uh, and let me know what your thoughts about what your thoughts are how would you use this project i would let me i really want to know so let me know in the comment box below what your thoughts are how you want to use it and if you have any critique comment or any sort of suggestion just leave it out in the comment box below until then Stay connected, stay subscribed to this channel and I'll see you next time with another video as well.